Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to talk about the book Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. So I don't even know where to start because this was such a great book. I loved The Faults in Our Stars, but I liked the movie more than the book. So if they make this into a movie, I would like absolutely fall in love. And I really hope that they do because it deserves to be a movie. And in my head, as I was reading it, I kept envisioning what the characters looked like. And that's really important when I'm reading a book because I just, that means it's a good book to me because if I'm just reading some fluffy book and it's like, okay, well, I don't even know what this character would look like and or nor do I care then that means it's not really well written and this was so well written um, it tells a story of two young girls who sort of fall into um, solving a mystery and the mystery is of this guy's dad who just seemed to have up and disappeared and he's a millionaire and there is a quite a substantial amount out for his the finding of the dad um so they go and start investigating because she as Azra was her name Azra I can't even I can't pronounce names in my head I have um Azai A Z A so in my head I have a really hard time when I'm pronouncing names and then I often hear them and I think wow that's not even what it was so like for example let's just use John Green for an example like a lot of people call him JG John Green so let's say I well John Green's not a good example but whatever let's say his name is John Green and it's really hard to pronounce and in my head I'll think oh that's Johnny or whatever. It's just really hard for me sometimes when I'm reading to get the characters' names correctly. And I do apologize if I do ever say anything, if I say it incorrectly. I don't mean to. It's just a really bad habit that I have. So anyways, okay. So this was a young adult book. It is quite a big read though. Um, and I love that young adult books are still really popular because I think it's really important, especially in, in today's society, to continue to read because there's so much technology, there's so much things like, the, you know, and unless they're forced to read it at school, our teenager is going to read. But I truly believe that they will read this. And judging by the number of ratings that it has and, and reviews, people have loved it. So... Do, 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 do. Hey, I'm just checking in the acknowledgements and Ariel Bissett is actually, um, she's a big booktuber. I wonder if, she, oh, I'm sure she knows that she's, that she was mentioned. Wow, how cool. I want to be mentioned in a book. So it's 286 pages. So yeah, it was quite a, a, a big read. It took me. I think three or four days, not continuously. I just wanted to um, savor it and I did have other books on the go. So from the dust jacket, I'll read to you what it says. Sorry, the light in here is so terrible. It says 16 year old Azra, Aza, Azra, Aza, 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 never intended to pursue the mystery of a fugitive billionaire, Russell Pickett, but there's a hundred thousand dollar reward at stake and her best and most fearless friend Daisy is eager to investigate. So together they navigate the short distance and broad divides that separate them from Russell Pickett's son Davis. Aza is trying. She is good. She is trying to be a good daughter, a good friend, a good student, and maybe even a good detective who is also living within their ever tightening spiral of her own thoughts. So she does have depression, anxiety, um, maybe a little bit post-traumatic. She doesn't like to leave the house. And I completely was drawn to that storyline because that is me. And I have all of that anxiety. And I love when they were talking about, you know, how you should just get over it and just get out of the house and just do it. Well, you know what? That's just not, it's just not that easy. And John Green really, really has that 
Like, he doesn't just guess at how it feels. I mean, either he really does have anxiety in his life and depression, or he's just a genius and does, has done his research. Because he talks about it so well and describes what it feels like so well. Um, it is probably one of the best books that touch on mental illness that I've read, at least in a long time, and that says a lot. I would give this book probably four and a half stars out of five. I don't like to give five out of fives. I don't give it very often. I'm only going to give it four and a half rather than five. Um, because they're, I don't know, maybe if they would have said, okay, there's a little bit of trigger warning in it for the, the OCD, the anxiety, the post-traumatic, that sort of thing. Because there, I was, I was thinking, okay, I already know how I deal with mine, but if you didn't know, and that might bring a little bit up to, um, let me get, like, make trigger other people. So they, maybe if they should have a warning. And if they do have a book, then may, I mean, I'm make a movie out of it, then I think that they should have a warning. Um, I did write some notes down on uh, the book. Yeah, so I don't understand. John Green is, I don't know how old he is, but I swear he's trapped in a teenager's body because he thinks like a teenager. He writes like a teenager. He's got the teenager lingo down. He's got the movements. He's got the technology. He knows how to describe teenagers. He just doesn't just pretend and start using slang and, and all the stuff that, you know, that tries to make it look like it's a teenager book. He really does describe everything on how it is to be a teenager and I don't know like I don't know I just can't understand how he can do this because if even me I mean like I'm definitely not a teenager but when I start to write in the mindset of a teenager it kind of is hit and miss like I don't feel like I could do it you know like it's been a long time since I was a teenager and I don't really know that many teenagers so do I know what teenagers do? Do I know what they think? Do I know how they act? No. But again, this this book, I mean, it must have been really hard to try to follow up from Fault on Our Stars because that was such a great book and such a great movie that there was probably a lot of pressure to make sure that the, this one was just as successful, if not more successful. And I think that this probably is more successful um, because I did laugh, I did cry, you know, the whole entire, I was waiting to see, well, why did it, they call it Turtles All the Way Down, and I'm not going to spoil that part, I mean, I think that it's definitely worth a read, and when you do read that part, you will understand that, oh my god, that is just, that's, that, it was beautiful, and I did take a moment, and I did pause, and I thought, wow, you know, like, that's just, yeah, I don't know. It was just awesome. It was a very cathartic book. I cried, like I said. Um, I felt empathy for Davis, felt empathy for his brother. I, you know, like, <sighs> it was very, 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 very good. I mean, I can't really say, I can't really say much more without spoiling it, but just go and read it um kind of had a maybe a little bit better of a cover I mean like I judge books by their cover and the cover is kind of ugly so anyways go ahead and read this book let me know in the comments if you've already read it if you've read it what did you think if you haven't read it why haven't you read it go ahead and read it right now go buy it um I'm probably going to keep this one in my book shelf for a while and continue to maybe reread it. I don't love everything by John Green. I didn't like all the, um, all the Catherines, I think it's called. Didn't like that book. I have it still. I started reading it. I got halfway through, didn't enjoy it. So I'm not just saying, oh, I love everything by John Green. He could do no wrong. I really didn't like that one. So 
Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.